that you get your audio coming out on your auxes instead of channel one and two is over here in the aux category. You want to make sure it says card one and two there. And instead of putting card one and two here, you can use local one through eight, which is phantom power. So you can record on any of these first of any of these first eight channels and not have to worry about um, it not working. So let's say, for instance, like if I put this on card one through eight there, in order to use it with the computer, I can no longer use phantom power. So any channels that you want to record and use phantom power, it has to go on the locals. Any of these XLR inputs are all local, which is this button here. So if you still want to be able to hear your music back, like in your studio program or anything like that, you can assign it to your auxes. So if I just play something here really quickly, you will see that no audio is coming in on track one and two. However, if I switch to auxes, there it is. But no audio is coming in on track one and two. By default, by default, the computer wants to use track one and two for audio, but with the X32, just come over here. You can change that setting really, really easily. Just put your auxes here on card one and two, which will take that default one and two and make it go through your aux channels to leave you the space to be able to use track one through eight to record with phantom power, like how I have the mic set up there. So if this helped you out and you would like to see more footage about how to use the X32 in the studio, like, comment, and subscribe, and you guys have a great day.